black jacket. These are the pieces number three and number four on cell fabric and this is my hair canvas piece number 18. The first step is place the two pieces together so align center back and center back and then attach those pieces with long basting center back, neck, shoulder, arm hole and side seam. So I'm going to base my two pieces. Okay. I finished my back. Remember that you must leave extra space because we need to train the, um, the seam allowances, half an inch seam allowances. Then turn to the right side and just double check if you have extra hair canvas. Okay, turn around against to the right side and make trace a frame half an inch away from the edge. Now cut the half an inch seam allowances just for the hair canvas. The hair canvas is ready to do all the hand stitches. So the first hand stitch is along the center back, neck, shoulder and hold as I seen, seam, do the catch stitch. Remember that the catch stitch is up, right to left, the fabric and then down, right to left, just the hair canvas. Up, right to left, the fabric, the cell fabric and just the hair canvas, down, right to left. Here we have the cut stitch ready. The last stitch for the center back is just attach the center back and the hair canvas with long stitch or running stitch along the seam allowances. Just one side of the seam allowances. You don't have to attach both seam allowances. But pay attention, don't pass through the back. Go. Oh. Okay, ready? We have the center back ready with all the hand stitches and the basting stitches. When you finish, do the same for the other side of the jacket and then just attach center back and center back. That's it.